The Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge has close to 60,000 acres. It's primarily to preserve and enhance wildlife, which abounds throughout the entire area. As we drive through today, and, and many times we'll, we'll see elk and deer, the bison, the uh, Texas longhorn cattle, and tr a tremendous amount of birds and other mammals that uh, visit this area, that live on this area. So it's, it's just a beautiful place that people can enjoy. It's incredible to think that these animals are descendants of 15 bison transplanted into the refuge in 1907. And today they roam unfettered in the wild. But people can also enjoy what nature has carved out for them like a giant outdoor playground. It's one of uh, 562 National Wildlife Refuges in the nation and it's, it's a, a very unique area that uh, a lot of people have learned to love and, and come visit. We get over a million and a half visitors per year that come to the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. A portion of the refuge is sanctuary, about 35,000 acres of it, and 24,000 acres is what we consider a public use area where the public can come and enjoy the areas. There are over 20 hiking trails from which to choose and people come here from all over for the rock climbing and rappelling. Now there's one area called the 40 foot hole. It's essentially a canyon that's breathtaking. And speaking of breathtaking, one of the most prominent mountains in Oklahoma is Mount Scott. You can see it behind me. It's on the eastern ridge of the refuge. Now, people hike to the top all the time, but there's also a three-mile paved road, and that's the route we're going to take today. We're going to hop in the Discover Oklahoma Ford Explorer and head on up. Luckily, the weather cooperated with us, so the drive to the top was quite enjoyable. And when you arrive, the view is extraordinary. One of the nicest spots in the state. Beautiful. J.W. King has been to the top many times over the years, but I asked him if he remembered that very first time. I can't remember what it was for, but I came up here to the with a group, and the view was just incredible. It was one of the best I've seen in Oklahoma. You should take the time to explore while you're here. Back on the ground, an ever-growing popular activity is mountain biking. And just like the hiking, there are trails for the novice, like myself, and then for the more experienced biker. This area holds other attractions. There's an impressive visitor center featuring several exhibits that spotlight varied plant and animal species found here. The holy city of the Wichita's receives thousands of visitors each year, and to see the chapel alone is worth the visit. You can never understate the beauty or diversity of the Wichita Mountains Refuge, and for Ralph Bryant, this is the perfect office. It is a love of mine to, to enjoy nature and see, see the wildlife and, and all the different critters and, and see the beautiful scenery uh, that's, that abounds in, in North America. Uh, but here at the Wichita Mountains, you know, having elk and deer and bison, you know, roaming free and you can see them every day, uh, just, you know, is, is pretty invigorating. And so, you know, I, I encourage people to come and, and see what a jewel we have here in the Wichita Mountains in Oklahoma for people to come see.